Here's what hormesis is. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. It refers to a paradoxical dose-effect or time-effect relationship for a substance. Mostly where we're talking about, it might be a poison if in larger doses, but in a smaller dose, it's good for you. Now you say, well, that sounds very technical. Well, let me just back up and say, every one of you knows about this. Think about it. What is high intensity interval training? What is any type of exercise? They are hormesis. You know, you're stressing the body. So when you relax the body, when you heal, the body comes back at a higher capacity, stronger and healthier. That is hormesis. So this came out of an article, Trends in Endocrinology Metabolism 2019, Baylor College. And I just wanted to get that into the content to start getting that concept out there. You know, you look at the opposite. They say too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And that's true. You know, both of these concepts are very, very true in toxicology. You talk about, well, that's a poison. Air can be a poison. Oxygen can be a poison. And in fact, oxygen damages a lot of humans every day. Really? Yeah. Too high a level of oxygen damages a lot of things. And especially with premature infants, you get a lot of oxygen damage for those folks. You also get oxygen damage, gas damage, nitrogen damage for divers. I'm not gonna go down that bunny hole, but it makes the point too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Let's flip that over on his head and you realize sometimes a little bit of a bad thing can be a good thing. Like stress, we all say stress is terrible. Physical stress, pushing can be hard on your body. And that's exactly what we recommend with in controlled amounts with high intensity interval training and resistance training. Now it's known that oxidative stress causes aging, but low levels of reactive oxygen species, for example, can function as signal molecules with some beneficial effects. Insulin can be a good example too. You want insulin to help you manage your blood sugar when it's time, but too much insulin, too much time period, you know, high levels of insulin on a regular basis has been demonstrated to be a major driver of cardiovascular inflammation. So uh, there are other examples too. Even if you look at the quote, couple of the antioxidant supplements, vitamin C and E. In high levels, they have some reputation for causing increased risk of cancer and diabetes.